Hello everyone, and welcome to this new video tutorial for Maverick Render. In this tutorial we will learn how to use the curvature node to combine two materials and create a dirt or worn out surface finish. We will be using the nodal editor for this. Let's go ahead and create a blend material node, which we will apply to our model. Now we will take a couple of materials from the shading library. One of these will be a metal from the substance directory. Let's drop it to the nodal editor and connect it to the first material plug in the blend node. By double clicking the substance node we may configure the SBSAR parameters from the attribute editor to our taste. Let's now add the second material from the library. We will take a basic material which we will connect to the second material plug in the blend node. All that's missing now is a curvature map node, which we will connect to the second weight plug in the blend node. The second material will prevail in the areas where the curvature node is white. With the curvature node revealed in the attribute editor, let's click the show in viewport button. This will display the curvature node in the IPR. We will adjust its radius so we can better appreciate what the node is doing. As you can see, the curvature node gets white in the concave or convex areas of the model, which is precisely where we want dirt or wear to be present. We may select a radius that we like and then disable the show in viewport option to see the final result. Let's now change the color of the basic material to make the effect more evident and give the impression of dust or dirt crammed in the wrinkles. You can use our optical zoom to analyze the details more closely. As you can see the effect looks probably too uniform so let's use some deformation for the sake of realism. To this end we will create a noise node which we will connect to the scale plug in the curvature node. We will use again the show in viewport feature to give proper dimensions and contrast to the noise node. If we go back to the curvature node and show it in the viewport we will see how it gets kind of broken thanks to the noise map we just added. Let's increase its radius again to better see the effect. Playing a bit with the noise and curvature nodes we may adapt the effect to our needs. If we now display the final result we will see how it looks much more realistic as the dirt material is distributed in a less uniform and more natural way. So we just learned how to build a typical nodal structure with a blend material node. There is a main material and then a secondary material for the dirt areas. The curvature node is used as a weight map for the secondary material and a noise map may be used to modulate the curvature scale. This is all for now. See you in the next video. Have fun rendering with Maverick.